Good day fellow investors, I've just finished this book 100 to 1 in the stock market by Thomas Phelps and I enjoyed it so much that I really really want to recommend you this. This might sound strange because this book was written in 1972. Typical perhaps for 1972 books, the first 50 pages are a little bit vague but the whole 250 pages of this book have everything you need to know when it comes to successful long-term investing. So I really, really recommend the book. And I'm going to do a quick summary just to give you a taste of the book. And I really hope this goes on your book list, on your shelf, because I really, really enjoyed the all-time value investing value that this book provides. And just as an example, it starts with in life you get what you ask for. And that's something I totally agree. Our mind is wired so that when you start focusing on something, then it finds ways to get there. And the same is in with investing. What you focus on, that is what you will get. And the focus here of the book is with a millionaire, how did he make a million? So by never selling anything and then looking at the stocks there must be small, of course, not popular, unique product, faster growth, better service, strong research-minded management, find 50 that might fit, but Wall Street is not sure of, like, let's say, we just discussed Beyond Meat that might fit, but I'm not sure of it, certainly, so that's a different, but find another 100 and you might find the really, really good business. And then, of course, everlasting wisdom like just focus on the business owning a business not on where the stock price might go and then also he writes far more can be made by owning a business and far more can be lost by waiting for a stock market correction which is the quote that peter lynch uses all the time in his book also through the whole book you will find all the quotes that warren buffett and charlie munger use. So it's not that they invented the quotes, that's just everlasting investing wisdom and all of that is also here. The author was a security analyst. He said that he predicted correctly two bear markets in his career, but he missed on buying stocks that went up while the markets went down. And all of those stocks became 100 beggars. So 100 beggar is a stock that goes from one dollar to 100 and the key for the book is holding something and just letting it run and the key is that also he explains the risks there and the unknowns the forecasting of holding something where you don't know what the outcome will be but how to position yourself so that you are exposed to that chance in the long run. Don't get confused by price action, the core of value investing, why people sell and how lemmings follow the crowd. The key is of course to be patient, cut your losses and let your winners run. Also something that's very interesting, so when something is expensive and the price goes up, analysts would die for it. When the price is going down, nobody wants it. That's a specific characteristic of the stock market very nicely explained here. It is a book written in 1972, so it is a little bit longer, so written. Probably they told him he has to write 250 pages. If not, he would have just said, okay, or he was a writer and an analyst. He could do that in 50 pages. Also something on risk and reward, a dollar of income is a dollar of income, no matter the source. So no matter the, whether the source is volatile or not, Typical value investing style before all the modern portfolio theory started with academia, people were investors. And that is what really worked over the long term. And the same as now, gamblers were losing money. Perhaps they would make some money here and there, but on average, the returns were much lower than what real investors would get. There is also a chapter on inflation, 1972, just before the explosion of inflation, discussing debt, discussing money printing, discussing interest rates, the same situation that we are in now. Very, very interesting read. And therefore, a nice quote, one of the worst occupational hazards of the investment business arises out of the extraordinary ability to rationalize whatever is and out of common inability to foresee what will be. 
So we don't know what will be, but if we own good businesses, we will do well. And then the final chapters are about how to find such a great stock. Of course, return on invested capital, low price earnings ratios, room to run, growth, a good business, value, and as always, the same and same and same. And that's why I'm recommending this book written 50 years ago, because investing at the end, if you want to do it properly over the long term, compound, investing is just about easy, simple principles, where the hard thing is to stick to them. So enjoy the book, have a nice weekend, and I'll see you in the next video.